I have been wondering whether or not people worship a specific deity for some reason. Always before I had thought it was because they had expected some sort of reward for the worship. Be it an easy life or a good afterlife. Though now, having witnessed the terrifying raptures of death and having been struggling to live with the fear associated with it, I realize that ultimately worship of a god is merely a placebo. Hooray! It is the illusion, the feeling of self-satisfaction that comes with knowing you have devoted yourself to something you truly believe in. The gods could be nothing more than myths, yet thousands of sentient beings are content to devote themselves to the myth for the happiness it brings. To die content in the knowledge that you have lived a good life is a rewarding afterlife in its own way. Uh, I'll see you for the next episode. Welcome back, everyone, and I remembered to put the music back on, even though it's being quiet now, but whatever. You've come to a decision. Yes, I have, my friend. I have decided what it is I'm going to do in order to overcome my mounting fear of death. While I still find it hard to believe that any sort of deity is worth worshipping, I see no harm in at least learning about the different gods. Yet, at the end of the day, it's not really fair for me to be so suspicious and critical of the gods and their worship. Yes, it is, when in reality I, I know very little about them. So I plan to rectify that by... Ooh, sorry about that. Expanding my education. At the very least, it will distract me from the fear that now plagues my mind. It is for this reason that I have a small favor to ask of you, should you be of a mind to hear it. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I thought that perhaps I confess that I find this hard to ask since it goes against much of what I have said in the past. I'm sure it does. Let's go ahead and make all those conversations meaningless. That will be a great way to get this mod a, a high rating. If you could find me a book on the different gods to be able to cheat my faith, let's do it. Perhaps I can embrace it without fear. Okay. Can you do this for me? No, go to hell. Okay, now let's see. Um, I... Yeah, I will try to find the book. Thank you, my friend. I am pleased to see you understand the importance of my request. There is no hurry, but if we happen to end up near a book dealer, perhaps you could look on my behalf. Until then, let us continue on our way. The day seems somewhat brighter for some reason. To ho, now we're here suddenly, even though I went to the wrong place by mistake. Whatever. Let's go to the bookstore and buy stuff. Wee. And I'm kind of tired and kind of hungry, so I don't know how this commentary is going to go. Okay, I really should just like wait. You were Martin's friend, weren't you? No. All right, I'm after a book on the gods. Yes. Okay. Oh yes, well you're in luck, my friend. I just so happen to have exactly the book you're looking for. Why? Because the plot says so. The Gods of Tamriel, written by the famous uh, Stephen Prince, royal scribe of Bruma. You should find it an interesting le uh, read. And it's 35 gold, which is fine by me. Here you go, my friend. I'm confident that you'll enjoy it thoroughly. Is there anything else I can get you? No, okay, I guess not. <laughs> Very well, perhaps I can interest you in something else. I have a complete collection of the Lusty Argonian Maid Chronicles. Yeah. Yeah. You have acquired the book that I saw. I cannot thank you enough for this, my friend. And I promise that I will find someone to repay you for it. Let us continue on our travels. I shall engross myself in the book when we stop to rest. Oh boy, are we going to have to wait more now? Yeah, won't that be so exciting if we have to? You're a fit one. Been running. Ah. Ah. Um, did you read it yet? No, you didn't. No, well. How about now? Oh, well, resting didn't give me a prompt or anything. I don't know. I, I, I did level up, though, so maybe that, like, screwed it up. Let's do another... No? Oh, don't make me wait again! Oh, jeez. <sighs> that's the, uh, that's the Frost Crag Reborn thing, in case you guys didn't watch that series, or you don't remember or don't know how that works. And there's two more Midas Magic Companions, or whatever the heck this, the other mod was, somewhere in here. I don't really care to pick them up, though. I also left Red Sonya behind. 
For no reason whatsoever. Anyway, I guess I'll have to wait now. Oh boy. So much for getting something done. Finally! Jeez. For the first time in a long time, Ruin's composure appears to be one of peace. Reading this book has provided me, yeah, I don't feel like doing the voice again, with valuable insight and, dare I say, direction in which to propel myself. I have found a deity that is close to my own heart in terms of what he expects of his followers and what he offers. And though I still would not exactly call myself a believer or even a follower, I find that reading about him helps to alleviate my mounting fear, though death is still certain, and what I will face in the afterlife is still uncertain. The insight I have gained into death is akin to the elder who burnt my hand in order to teach me about fire. Someone pointed out an interesting plot hole about that hand mark because this isn't his body anymore. So yeah, more plot holes. By exposure of it, I understood and thus did not fear it. The same goes for death and the afterlife. The one thing that reading about the gods has done for me is to prepare me for the one thing that I can never avoid in life. DEATH! I have you and only you to thank for that, my dear friend. What god did you choose? Yeah, really, I'm actually interested in that. I mean, if you make us go through all this crap just to... I will Ah. Oh. Uh, suffice to say that I have found a god that I'm generally intrigued by, and it has alleviated a great many of fears I have felt. You made that possible. You and you alone have made every positive aspect of my life possible. To the same extent that everything bad about my life has stemmed from my past, everything good has revolved entirely around you. As much as this deity in my book is my god in death, you have been my god in life. I worship you, even as I love you. Never forget that, my friend. I think I will. Because it is the most important thing that I can give you. And like a treasured possession, I want you to take that with you forever, regardless of what happens. You speak as if saying goodbye. Please say goodbye now, okay. Let's call it a precaution. I've had dreams of foreboding visions of an uncertain pleasantness. There's to come a great blackness that bathes the land in a looming shadow, brings both death and despair for the two of us. Something is coming, my friend. Something is something like nothing that either of us has seen before. Something that makes us all that we have experienced so far seem completely insignificant. And I anticipate that it will herald the end of our companionship. Ever the pessimist, I suppose. Uh, what do we suggest? I want you to be ready, my friend. Okay, I will. And when this darkness comes, it will come hard, fast, and without any real warning. Just like now. Okay. Consider this your warning and your opportunity to prepare yourself for what we are about to face. Be rested at all times. Carry more arrows. Carry stuff. We have accomplished great things so far, but always we have been in control of the crucial circumstances. Now, though, now we are the ones at a major disadvantage. Our enemy, the unseen enemy, knows us, but we do not know him. He has been watching. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Just please be wary. I will... Okay, I will heed your words. I'm pleased to hear this, but to tell you the truth, I'd much rather you heed my earlier words than to remember my warning. If for any reason you should park my words with you, as always, remember them in times of loneliness and darkness. Use them to rekindle fond thoughts of me from the... Oh, come on! <laughs> really? A bridge, people! A bridge! Half of this is unnecessary dialogue, and it's really starting to annoy me! I can't give this writer much more leeway. I mean... Ugh. Journey together in the next life. I have heard... He's still going! I have heard tell that certain poets believe that all mortal souls were originally one. Yet the gods, fearful of what... Uh, what these near omnipotent souls could accomplish chose to split the souls in two. They were then banished to places and situations that it was nearly impossible for the two halves to ever find one another. Thus the two halves were doomed to spend all eternity searching for one another. In order to achieve the perfect, per uh, the complete perfection and only the accompany of the... Uh, I read that wrong, we'll just skip it. Really though, everything turns into a story and it's forced, it's forced dialogue. This isn't even exposition anymore, it's just forced dialogue. So I think it's safe to say that you are my soulmate, together from now on until all eternity. Let's take a moment and forget all my concerns. Let us instead walk together when we first met on that fa- Yes, I know! I freaking know! Crap! <laughs> like, this guy makes me want to look back at my stories and make sure I'm not doing this to my readers. I mean, this is painful sometimes. It really is. I'm com I'm well aware that I'm reading dialogue right now. I don't feel anything in most of these conversations anymore. Even even the, the Cleon and Alicia stuff, that 
That was not nearly as forced as some of these conversations. I am starting be to become strongly, like, against the, the writing style in this mod. I just... I, I can't take it anymore. It's freaking ridiculous sometimes. Oh, man. I'm sure if I were to write out all the crap that he just said, I could probably shrink it to about half the size. You know, don't get me wrong. What Ruin is saying has meaning. It has meaning, but it's stretched to the point of annoyance. You know, there, there was a different way, there was a better way to convey these thoughts, and I, I don't know if he didn't want to, if he thought the mod was too short, so maybe he extended the dialogue scenes a bit. I don't know what the reasoning is there, but it, it's growing to the point of... Ugh. It's almost flustering in a way. I mean, man. Let's get him, Sheevan. Oh, okay. So, yeah, um, nothing's happening, so we're on a timer again. That's the other thing, this 500 second timer, or 1600, no, it was 1600 in Tears of the Fiend. That was, that was a crap timer, alright, but we're doing it so much more in Ruined Tales Tale. And with the, the technical problems that I have with this mod, I can't always fast travel, and I can't always find something else to do. So that means I'm left here to sit for these 500 seconds, when I should logically just be able to sleep or rest or something and move on. The timer was, was a neat aspect for a while here, but this is becoming a little ludicrous. It's stretching things so unnecessarily, and it, it almost makes me feel like that he, he wanted you to know that you were still in his mod's power. Like, you have to wait these 500 seconds, so I'm extending the, the play in, in the mod. I don't know. The, the thought process here doesn't seem to follow, and I generally am not liking it anymore. This mod still has a lot of good aspects, but I am getting greatly annoyed at this point with it. Some of these conversations are just too long, and I know that I'm just repeating myself by now, but that's what I really feel like. I just feel that they're so over the top and nonsensical in some ways. Well, it's better than watching Pluto Nash, that's for sure. Welcome back to Ruin Tales Tale, and if you saw last episode, you probably think I utterly despise and hate this mod. Well, I just want to clarify that I don't really. It's just that some of the major components of this mod are really irritating at points. And it's the fact that you, you can't do anything else while experiencing these... Ugh, they're not even slight irritations to me anymore, they're really... They're starting to bug me on a much larger scale. Ugh. So that's pretty much why I decided to have that little mini rant last episode and point out some of the, the things that I don't particularly like about Ruined Tales Tale. Granted, this... See, I don't know, I'm like, I'm like torn. Because it's a, it's a good storyline, but the way it's written, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, I just feel like I'm, I'm being fed unnecessary, redundant, or completely... Un... I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need that type of information. Light. You must die, Light. Alright. Oh, a bit of lag out with that sword out, it seems, huh? Really? Huh? Not this time. Huh. Must be the light. Wow, really? The light causes lag? No, I guess not. I don't know. Maybe it was just something random. Or maybe an NPC walked in or over here or something. Oh, well, there's that thing. Oh, maybe it was all the lights turning on. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. So now I've lost my train of thought, so I don't feel like ranting anymore. I'll be back for the next conversation, I'm guessing.